Hi guys, I've been asked to do a video on how I take the shot and what preparations I do to take the shot. This is my top 10 of what I do. Other people may disagree with me, other people may do things slightly differently, but the general principles in all of rifle shooting are the same. Okay, this video is done for rifle shooting off a bipod or off a rest such as a kit bag or some other form of support. It's not necessarily uh, aimed at freehand rifle shooting, although most points are still the same. Hope you enjoy it guys. Number one, natural alignment. First of all, I'll line the rifle up with whatever it is I'm going to shoot, whether that be an animal or a target. Okay, I'll naturally point that rifle at the, at the target. Okay, I'll then line my body up with the rifle, ensuring that I'm only slightly offset. Number two, correct butt position in the shoulder. Okay, what I'll then do is I'll put the centre of the butt in my shoulder pocket. Okay, if I put the heel of the butt in my shoulder pocket, my rounds are likely to go low. And if I put the toe of the butt in my pocket, my rounds are likely to go high. Okay, number three, grip. <clears throat> I'm going to plant my left elbow, being left-handed, and I'm going to take hold of the grip of the rifle. Not too tight, not too loose, just as if I'm holding my cell phone. My weak hand is then going to come underneath the stock, and the stock is going to rest on it. Okay, number four, correct leg position. My legs are going to be in a straight line, they're going to be in line with my body. The insides of my feet are going to be flat to the floor and my toes are going to be pointing outwards. There will be no rotation of the spine. Number five, correct head position. My eye is going to be naturally in line with the reticle. My cheekbone is going to rest on the comb of the stock and my head is going to completely flop onto that stock so I'm not using any neck muscles whatsoever to support my head. Number six, relax. At this stage, I consciously and totally relax every muscle in my body from head to toe. Very important. Number seven, fine tune your position. If the reticle is slightly off the target, then move your body, not the rifle, until the reticle is absolutely bang on. Number eight, breathing. When we breathe in, we naturally breathe in and then we breathe out. We breathe in, we breathe out. Okay, when we breathe in, there is no pause. We automatically breathe straight out again. But when we've breathed out, we have a natural pause of about one to two seconds. Okay, by taking a deep breath or a couple of deep breaths, just prior to taking the shot, we can extend that natural pause for about three to four seconds and that's the point that we fire. We never, ever hold any breath in. Okay, because of that we'll use muscles in the chest that, that, that will then impart movement to that rifle when we come to shoot. Number nine, shot release. Keep both eyes open, your master eye takes over, your weak eye if you were to look at yourself, it looks like it's looking in a completely different direction. Okay, we place a finger on the trigger. We start to take up that first pressure. And then we gently squeeze until the trigger breaks. It should feel like you're snapping a thin piece of glass with your trigger finger. And number 10, follow through. At the point the trigger breaks, Nothing must move. No part of your body must move. However, I, I turn my focus from the reticle to the target or to the animal that I'm shooting at. And I'm looking for any small amount of swirl or strike on that target or around that target. And then what I'll do is once, once that bullet has hit, I will prepare for a follow-up shot in case of an injured animal. Okay, it's very important. Okay guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you've learned something. 
top tips for me, trigger control and follow through. Really work hard on those and get your body as flat to the floor as you can. as maximum body contact. Okay, happy hunting.